thing. He started playing. He picked up the mandolin when he was 55 years old. Okay. Two, the washer and dryer went out in his house. <laughs> yeah. After he started playing the mandolin, and clothes was getting kind of thick, and his wife wasn't real pleased with him. So they took $1,400 to go buy a washer and dryer. An hour and a half later, guess what? Willie comes home with that mandolin right there yeah. and no washer and dryer. <laughs> Had that been me, I'd have got killed. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I couldn't have got away with that. After I explained it to it, it was okay. I said, look here, sweetie. I called her, sweetie. I said, sweetie, I can probably make this mailing right here. I got a nice wood shop in the backyard. She said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you one thing. I cut up $10,000 worth of wood before I do. She said, oh, okay. That was the end of $1,400 is a lot cheaper than $10,000. Yeah. Uh, the other one is, is uh, he wrote this song. It's uh, called Monroe's Tune after Bill Monroe, but there's a catch. If I can do it. So... It come out that Willie loves to go to the bathroom, and he stayed in there a long time, and that's where he practices. But at least hey, I'm not the only one. There, I'm not know? the only one, right, folks? Uh, he 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 has the words and everything to the song, okay? And he comes out and brings this song to us, and it's awesome. And uh, I say, "Where's the words, Willie?" You know what he said? Well, there was no toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. So he used the words so we don't have words. It's instrumentalist, but he did write it. It's called Monroe's Tune after Bill Monroe. We'll try it if I can do it. Play it pretty for him, will he? We'll try. 